Hey, Riddle here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a subscriber. I know my garden people feel so neglected these days, so I'm going to try to do a handful of gardening videos to uh, reward you for your uh, membership. <laughs> um, the cool thing about gardening, and I tell everyone this, and uh, it's harsh, but life is harsh. Gardening is not a hobby, it's a discipline. And with this ever-changing world that change, that, you know, is just so challenging, both socially, economically, environmentally, what a garden ultimately is, is a teacher. And if you can bring yourself to master a garden and the discipline of growing things, you will be able to master your own life. And uh, it really, it intrigues me that people completely miss the parallel between these two things. But one of my big things that always surprises people or intimidates people is I'm constantly experimenting. Because, you know, with life, as we age and as circumstances change, as new people come in our life and others leave, it's always about figuring things out and possibly perfecting, perfecting uh, methods of gardening and of life that just make things run more smoothly. That means sometimes taking on things that we've never experienced before. So trying to grow a new kind of vegetable or fruit tree. And, you know, first, yes, we go to the source of old knowledge and consume as much as we can, but then you should always play around with it a little bit and apply and see what you can discover and see what you can invent because, you know, that's what true intelligence is. It's not just copying and reading everything. It's learning and reinventing things and improving things. That being said, these grapes have been quite a mystery to me. Uh, I've never grown grapes before. I do know that they're a smaller variety of table grape, but it, my grapes did something really funny. I, I consistently fed them and probably fed them past the normal stage and then also kept pruning them back, trying to focus the energy into just the grapes that were growing so they'd be extra tasty. And my grapes, and I don't know if this is normal or not, but they set off, after the fruit, they set off another set of flowers, which are now turning into a later harvest of grape. So that's kind of cool, because I'm in a couple of weeks, I'm going to have these to eat. And then a week or two or three after that, I'm going to have these to eat. And if you can see up here, there's flowers forming still. And... Those are going to be another week or two or three after these. So I'm going to literally have multiple harvest of um, grapes to enjoy. And uh, I think that's pretty exciting. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my, these are ready to eat already, I think. Wow. I didn't even notice this. This is just kind of happening. How beautiful. Grapes are so ancient. There's something about just looking out the back a patio at them that just gives you this feeling of uh, connection and abundance, I guess. Look at that one. So these are the green. I think these might be champagne grapes because I didn't grow these. Uh, they were here at the house when we when we bought the house. But so that was my experiment. My experiment was playing around with fertilizing and pruning and just by happenstance, for some reason, I'm going to have this cool multiple harvest of grapes. That's it. <laughs>